And just like that, we're back again in 4K. What's going on, YouTube? We're about to do a super fresh skin taper. This comes out so clean. Let's jump right into it. We're going to pick his hair out. I'm not going to pick the top, just the sides. I'm going to give him a skin taper. Keep it clean. Subscribe to the channel. You know I need the subscribers right now. We're shut down in California. All right, we're gonna start with the back taper today. Skin out the bottom with a T outliner and a trim of your choice. Open your clipper up. I got the Babyliss Pegasus FX right here. <laughs> open the blade all the way up. Now I'm gonna take the one guard. I'm gonna open it all the way up. Okay, my second guideline. I'm gonna close the guard. I'm gonna use a one, and I'm gonna just loosen up that guideline I just made. I filmed this um, in pretty slow speed so you guys can actually follow and learn something because I I feel like I'm not I don't think that any of the schools are open right now for barber barber colleges. So I'm trying to be able to, to give the most education I can possible right now instead of me just doing a haircut and super fast speed. So um, I edited it so that it's short enough, but also so that you could actually learn something with the speed of the clippers. Hopefully that makes sense. Uh, appreciate the support, guy. Take the 3-0 and uh, open and close the bottom lever. We're just gonna take out that bottom line. I tell you what, though, uh, for all the students out there that are feel like they're stuck in a rut, man, keep going on YouTube and find different people that you like and and um, keep practicing. And YouTube is one of the greatest sources of information for learning. Most of the time when I can't figure something out, I go on, I go on YouTube and I find something right away um, that fixes the problem. So, hopefully you get some information out of this content. We got the half guard on here. And we're just smoothing out the corner right here. And we'll take the one and we're going to go down. Edges make us a nice little crispy line. Now we're just gonna freehand around the bulk of his of his hair. We're not pushing it in. We're just getting the edges so that the taper is more seamless with the top of the hair. You notice I'm working on the corners so that it won't be real dark when I line it up. So I'm just taking out a little bit of bulk in that corner. So I hit that Babylon's Gold FX on there. It shoots out like a Scud missile. All right, we're gonna start this taper by edging his front line slightly. I'm gonna ball the bottom out, followed by the half of the blade all the way open. All right, so we're gonna close the one. We're gonna continue to work on this taper using the corners of the blade. Look for areas of the hair that are dark. We're just 
just attacking that with detail work. Not trying to move too too high into the afro. But he does want a high taper. Now we're gonna use the three zero. Just lay it all the way shut. We're just gonna tap the bottom of this taper, taking out that any trimmer lines or any dark spots. Just gonna keep that blend from looking super blurry. You see, when we have a small area, a lot of detail work. Give a thumbs up if you guys love the one and a half wall guard. We're back with the number one, we're just smoothing things out, giving them a high taper, not taking it too high, and keeping a little bit of the darkness in the middle of the taper, but kind of loosening it up so it's not heavy. I'm just going over here to make sure there's any loose hairs that are sticking over the line we already made. On this side, we're going to start by cleaning up the afro on the bottom. And then we're going to start up our taper. start off by slightly lining up the corner of the taper so I can keep the darkness while I'm tapering them up so I don't remove too much of that line so when the lineup is from the front it's still detailed just so I can see where I don't want to go into with the with the fade now we're doing a half on the bottom down with it from the front just so I can keep some darkness there to give it that effect like there's dye or something but I just left the hair darker there so it, there's a 3D effect I'm using the corner of the blade Get out some dark areas. Now we're using the three zero and we're taking out that bottom line. I got the half guard on there. I'm just using the corner of the blade and smoothing stuff out. Now I'm going back with the trimmer just in case there's any loose hair sticking over the line we made. When you start cutting hair and stuff like that, you move hairs over and you just want to make sure it's crispy. I'm going back over there cutting the hairs that may be overlapping on your edge. Doing a little detail freehand work right here. What I'm doing here is I'm taking out a little bit of bulk by going down with it. This in effect is going to create a little bit of a line, but it's going to give me more of a blended look. Now I'm going to go back up with the one and a half and take out that little bit of a line. So that was a way for me to take the taper a little bit higher without making it too bulky. I got that one and a half guard. 
can use this to take out weight and blend this taper in nice. Look at this angle right here. This is how this taper is coming together. That's the thing of beauty, guys. nice angle right there all right guys his lineup is pretty straight across so we're not gonna push anything back one side is not higher than the other so we're just gonna clean it up lightly then hit it with the razor thank you guys if you, if you made it this far in the video appreciate it um, Remember to like and subscribe, hit the bell. The more likes um, and subscribers I get, the further um, my information goes into the YouTube realm. So if you, you guys want other people to be able to get this content, the more likes and subscribes I get, the higher up it goes in the charts and the, and the more people get this information. So I appreciate it. If you guys like it, Thank you so much. I'm gonna keep them coming out. And uh, we're just gonna raise them up. That's the final product right there, man. I think it came out super fresh. Let me know in the comments what you guys think.